Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about VeChain. We talk about VeChain quite a lot on this channel. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video. So we do see VeChain right now at that 2% increase in the last 24 hours alone. If you guys don't know what VeChain is, VeChain is a cryptocurrency and smart contracts platform focused on supply chain management. It allows manufacturers to add sensors such as RFID tags to their products that can then record data on the VeChain blockchain. I think VeChain has a huge, huge future. It has nine different solutions. We're going to be covering every single solution that VeChain offers, as well as, you know, kind of the real world possibilities, uh, you know, what VeChain really has to do with uh, the real world. So we're going to be talking about all of those solutions here in just a second. But I want to deep dive into some price analysis, as well as jump into some of the most recent tweets that have something to do with VeChain. So in the last week alone, we do see a 3.43% decrease. In the last month, about a 114% increase. We will also be doing price predictions for May, June, and 2021 at the end of the video. So stick around for that. And I also want to say, guys, I am not a financial advisor, so always do your own research as this is not financial advice. This 114% increase is pretty nuts. We see, you know, VeChain's doing very, very well in the last month alone. Some very, very solid increases. I think we will continue to see VeChain increase. A lot of people saying, you know, it relies on Bitcoin. And I will say, you know, VeChain does need Bitcoin to strive and do very, very well. Uh, but I do think VeChain, you know, does have what it takes to really increase at a gradual rate without Bitcoin's price really increasing with it. I think we will continue to see VeChain you know, increase over time. If we take a look at the market cap right now, we do see a $13 billion market cap. The volume in the last 24 hours is also a $2.6 billion, and the circulating supply at that $64.3 billion vet. So if you guys haven't seen much on VeChain, you can see that obviously we had a massive increase. We saw our all-time high April 16th at 8 p.m. Obviously, anytime you see something like that, we see a massive increase like that, you will see a dip back down and some kind of correction or stabilization. So we saw a dip down to 19 cents and kind of correct itself around this 22 to 24 cent range. Uh, and then we saw the market crash or dip like we all saw across the uh, really the cryptoverse altogether. So we saw a dip right on down to, you know, 16 or whatever cents. Um, so just a rough time there because of the crypto market crashing and they kind of blew up our really stabilization that VeChain was trying to hold at this 22 to 24 cents. I do think we will get back to that 22 to 24 cents fairly easily. Um, right now we're right around that 22 uh, or I guess 20 to 22 cents. We actually made it to 22 cents May 2nd, 10 p.m. I do think we'll, like I said, make it back to 22 to 24 and stabilize there fairly easily. Uh, it's definitely a coin that has so much potential in the real world and that's why so many new investors are really jumping right on board because it's something easy to understand easy to really access and uh, there's a lot of great exchanges that hold VeChain right now. So there has been some rumors, obviously, on uh, a couple different things, but let's jump straight into what we do know. So an awesome announcement by Items Dapp Building on VeChain. Let's burn that Vetho. We are about to announce our first major customer this month here we go. We are about to announce our first major customer this month. They start printing 1 million plus units with real items, smart labels backed by NFTs on VeChain Official, serialized QR codes for any products. Some are pretending like they knew NFTs were the future. Now they are playing catch up. So this is a big deal. And they talk about FY, it's 1 million plus per month. They expect to hit 3 million plus units per month this year. They have over $1.5 billion in annual sales. So if we take a look at the next one, this is, you know, the one that really makes us believe altcoin season is still coming. So take profits, but don't sell your bag too early. Alt season is about to begin. Bitcoin pumps, Ethereum pumps, alts pump. Now, remember, guys, this is what's happened in the past. That doesn't mean it's always going to happen in the future. Personal target is to wait until August, September before I take any more profits out. Super excited. A lot of people believe this is actually true. Uh, you know, usually this is the uh, kind of pattern we run. We run this Bitcoin pumps, Ethereum pumps, and then the alts pump right afterwards. And I think the alt season might even last longer than normal. I do think realistically, though, all crypto is going to do fairly well in the upcoming months with pretty much mass adoption taking place around the cryptoverse. Now, let's take a look look right back over to the website. And I do want to say, guys, you know, there is a lot of speculation going out there about Coinbase listings as well as DHL partnerships. Both of these things would be massive if we saw them. Um, and, you know, if we go down a little bit, we can see kind of what VeChain is and why it's such a, uh, you know, big deal. So we see the world's leading blockchain application platform driven by enterprise adoption. We see their professional global team having offices and being founded in China, Europe, U.S., Singapore, and Japan. We have the proven expertise in many industries. This includes fashion, wine, automobile, food safety, carbon emission reduction, and agriculture. Then they talk about their easy to to deploy blockchain platform and partner network for ecosystem expansion. So if you guys haven't seen the solutions yet, they have a lot of them. So if you go down here, you can see digital carbon ecosystem solution, consumer confidence index platform, automotive passport solution, retail solution, 
logistics solution, liquefied natural gas solution, digital content distribution solution, and the electronic document deposit solution, as well as the agriculture solution. So some very big solutions that really will affect the real world opportunities. Um, and I think that's going to continue to take place. I think we do see a lot of potential in them. And I want to take a look at the products and services. If you don't know much about the products and services, they talk about their features really. So off the shelf, highly scalable, independent deployment, and customization. They are talking about toy uh, toll chain when they talk about this. VChain's blockchain as a service, BAAS platform is called toll chain and it's a great great uh, really concept altogether but we see the independent deployment or yeah independent deployment and customization they fully functional and secure and reliable as well as cost effective and they talk about the core services as well that they do the sample case if you guys want to take a you guys can always pause the video and take a little deeper dive into this kind of stuff i won't really keep it here for too long and you could also go to vchain.com if you want to take a deeper dive into uh, you know what vchain all you know does on the back side we can see standard version developer version and partner version. There's a bunch of different uh, really things you can learn about VeChain that you may not have already known. Uh, it really just gives you a, a good idea of what VeChain is really doing. So you can also go to the About Us and learn a little bit more about uh, where they're all located and the team. The team is definitely special. I think there is a bright future for you know the team here in uh, 2021. So we'll see what happens. They also have a roadmap there. So you can see 2019 quarter four, they have VeChain Summit in San Francisco announcing one-stop enterprise solution, turnkey packages, and developer tools. So they continue to grow and grow. It's looking really good. Um, we talked about VeChain, like I said, a lot on this channel because of the future of VeChain. You know, what what really holds um, the value? I think VeChain is exactly what we want to hold value in because, like I said, the real world use cases make it continue to look like a brilliant coin that will continue to increase over time. So going into our price predictions for May, June, and 2021, I do want to start out with May. So obviously, May is going to be a big month with where VeChain is right now. We may not see Bitcoin make massive pushes. Uh, and because of that, I think VeChain really won't start moving a lot until we get into either June or uh, you know later in 2021. I think it's going to rely a lot on the alt season as well as Bitcoin starting to move again. So I think this is going to be a great long-term hold, uh, but for, for really the near, near future, I think Big, uh, I guess VeChain itself will make its push, in my opinion, to about $0.27, cents, $0.28, cents, pushing right around that all-time high like we previously saw um, you know, April 16th. I think by the end of May, we could definitely see the all-time high right around $0.28. Cents. Going into the end of June, I think we will continue to push, hopefully making our way to about a $0.40 cent price point, which would be about a 2x from where we are now. I think that's definitely something we could see. You know, Bitcoin hasn't moved in a while. We don't know if we're going to see gradual increases in Bitcoin. It's going to really depend on this mass adoption that we continue to see and how much really does push. I think we will continue to see growth in the cryptoverse. So because of that, like I said, VeChain 40 cents, definitely a possibility. Going into the end of 2021, where do we see uh, you know, VeChain ending up? Well, VeChain is one of those coins that I have been pinning right around a 2 to $4 price range. I think 2 to $4 is definitely something that is uh, really capable of VeChain. And I, I talk about really realistic and conservative price predictions and how you know I try to stay as honest with you guys as possible when doing these price predictions. So do remember, guys, these are conservative price predictions, and I still think 2 to $4 is a reasonable, short, re a reasonable shot for us to reach. And I'm going to say, guys, if we don't reach over a dollar, I'll be shocked. I think we at least reach a dollar, and uh, 2 to $4 is definitely a bonus after that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with my price predictions, as well as if you guys liked uh, you know, this video. If you guys like the video, if you guys are a VeChain holder, make sure to like, this, like the video itself and subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one.